Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And, well, um, <laughs> it's probably old news to those of you running the beta version. Hell, the, the, the live version might be updated to 1.5 by now. But look at this! It's a mini-map. Um, which also doesn't wrap around. <laughs> But uh, at least you can move, you can click and move around. It's not the. I still would have preferred just being able to, you know, <laughs> scroll around continuously. But a mini map is much appreciated. Anyway, and for me, for content, it also shows me what this little box shows you what you're actively looking at, which is very cool for. As you are kind of wondering where on earth in the world we're looking. Anyway, we're looking at the Mediterranean at the moment because there's a whole bunch of battles going on. We have uh, cruisers, more cruisers, cruisers, torpedo boats. Yeah, it's all cruisers and smaller. Let's do the torpedo boats because... Um, I'm very curious to see how the Oriflam um, does against these Lupo-class torpedo boats. Uh, she is about the same speed. These have a single 104mm gun. Three, wait, three? How did they do that? Okay, well, I want to see these things anyway. Because I don't think I've fought torpedo boats yet i mean they're pretty out of date at this point but um i thought it would be uh, interesting to have a look right Let's see how uh, 80 millimeter mark fours <laughs> can fire 13 rounds a minute do against these things Wherever they are. There we go. Oh, that's the transport. Are we even going to see the torpedo boats? Q uh, Kim Chatka jokes. Um. <laughs> Genuinely, where are these torpedo boats? They're just scarper. Just run off. Transports are ow, proving surprisingly tough. Their Mark III gun. Never mind the torpedo boats, the transports are dangerous. Can you pump the water out, please? And we've nearly run out of ammunition. So, that's not quite what I was expecting. I can reload the torpedo and put torpedoes into it, of course, but surprisingly accurate with those guns is the uh, Pepe there. And, uh, oh, I've actually lost my two front guns. Oh, and now a torpedo boat shows up, does it? Maybe it was a cunning ploy.
Well, aren't you lot full of surprises? Really? Hey guys, getting unreasonably lucky with flooding hits. their torpedo range very low and we've oh and they have low fuel and we've knocked down an engine on the uh Eri eridano no armor yeah these are very very basic things but they've stuffed an impressive number of guns on them i have to say more of a gunboat than a torpedo boat Anyway, I'm not going to watch you, make you watch Oriflam retreat. I think you should be able to retreat successfully, but it's going to take literally forever. Um, so I'll see you on the post-battle results screen. Well, uh, managed to get away, and um, yeah, that, that was a bit of a, a mess. <laughs> right, let's load another battle and see if we can do a bit better. All right, let's try this. The Algeri... Uh, and the Trialia uh, against a bunch of Ancona class like cruisers. Maybe we can suck a bit less. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right. Some days the game act actively, I swear, it's actively like, you know what? F you. <laughs> You're doing too well in this campaign. I'm going to screw you over. <laughs> Might hit at some point. Torpedo going out. Flooding hit. On the Basilgata. Oh, those torpedoes look good. Oh, very nice. That will probably sink that ship. Yep. Very nice. On every day, a destroyer takes out a light cruiser. Taking no damage in return. Um, well, okay, protected cruisers. Technically, I suppose. Actually, a little low on shells, which is a bit weird. 
Uh, she did fight in the last episode, so maybe she just hasn't had a chance to restock yet. Six before the torpedoes can reach it. When did you stop firing? cruisers and it's worth remembering these are relatively significant losses for the Italians they uh, don't have any battleships or battle cruisers uh, so light cruisers represent their second most powerful ships oh torpedo I thought might hit prematurely explodes Hey! Flooding. Got him. Right. Good. Good, good, good. Next up, we have a convoy to go raid. Two more light cruisers. This, way, this time we have Lave, we also have a Truder and a Destroyer. Where are you? There we go. Hiding in a smoke screen. Not for long. Where you think you're going? Right, let's see if we can pull off the same trick that we did before. Dump some torpedoes on a uh, cruiser. Thank you. 
cross talk and they all miss. <laughs> uh, one does hit the Ancona by mistake. I don't think it matters though. Guns are enough. Goodbye to the cruisers. It just leaves the transports, which, given that there's a heavy cruiser right there, shouldn't shouldn't really be an issue. So I will. Mm, do you know what's the first first one of the first one of the episode? I'll cue the music. There we go. Um, transport sunk, cruiser sunk. Excellent. Next. All right. Next up, a um, little bit harder, I think. We've got um, a tricolor and the Arathus uh, and the Tigre. They have three light cruisers. They're all Anconas, I think. And nine transports. Yes. Time to take care of them. And uh, I think after all this, it's worth checking in on the Italian fleet. Because, again, we, we've just kind of been... Um, blasting away at them. Continuously. And uh, that uh, might be giving them some problems. Mm -hmm. That rear gun looks so weird. <laughs> with the... With this. With the little 80 mils. Kind of bulging... At the, in the way of... You'd think it would be in the way, but apparently it isn't. According to the designer. Torpedoes. Torpedoes. Mm, one hits. That one 
should have moved away at the last minute. the cruisers there. Lapidos should be able to deal with them. And Tigre can probably just withdraw. Hey, hey flooding! Right in the centre of the ship as well. Don't hold out much hope for those torps. when two of them explode. Uh, Alright, one down. Oh, oh, oh. Falco. No, oh, that's not good. Ammo debts all over the place. What are they using? Oh, brown and black powder. Yeah, that makes sense. Why are you firing at that one with the torps? Surely the Falco is the better bit. <sighs> and, oh look at that, you missed. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Oh! Popcorn Cruiser! Down, Arathus should be able to deal with the transports with no issue, and uh, I'll see you guys on the post battle results screen. There we go. Uh, another big convoy gone. Uh, I think we have one more to do. Might be two. Back to the map anyway. Okay, this is a lot more. <laughs> this is a lot more serious. Um, we have four heavy cruisers um francesco ferruccio's which i mean these these are the uh <laughs> pasta armored chips <laughs> or the cheese armored chips um yes we have tonant pothau and uh jean de vienne um Yes. Okay. I think, I think the odds are well. They've got a, they've got four of them, so we are outnumbered. But still, um, Jean, Jean de Vienne should be able to uh, should be able to find them. 
or at least I hope so. Uh, maybe put a couple of torpedoes into one of them. Well, my own heavy cruisers work their way up. away. I'm not expecting a great deal from them, but they should uh, distract the enemy a bit, if nothing else. hit absolutely nothing. shooting up the transports. Alright, you two. It's not taking out their cruisers, would you? Nice. Right, one down. Yeah, taking on the lights, are we? Fair enough, I guess. Taking an awful lot of damage. Uh, I don't think she'll sink from that damage. the transports back towards the heavy cruisers. That would be quite handy. Come on, guys. Surely you can get a hit on Lombardia. Nope. Nope. No, we cannot. Oh, there we go. Finally get the range correct. Yeah. 
Down goes Lombardia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut off the escape of the uh, transports. Come on. There you go. Francesco takes some very serious hits there. Oh, we actually managed to sink up before she fired the torpedo. That's nice. No. Thank you. Let's see the turret rotating. I don't know what uh, Tonant is doing. But I think it means it's time for the division to go bye bye. Too close. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Uh, no. Oh, she takes two. Seno and Trento, however. I think are pretty much done for. Yep, they are indeed done for. Good. Shouldn't be too difficult to mop up the transports. One transport remains. Come 
Come on. Good, good, good. Uh, right, back to the map. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that we uh, have severely damaged the Italian fleet. The German fleet is still significant, but yeah, as I said in the last episode, they seem to have um, disappeared a bit. Anyway, I'm going to go into the next turn. I'm going to see if I can launch some invasions. All right, it's following month. Um, we do have the egg gear here, but she's a lot more expensive than I remember. I don't know, I get it. I can't actually remember if this is the one I faced before or not. I think it is, but uh, what do you mean failure? Okay, fine. Um... Because what I was thinking was, oh, use the destroyer and put some torpedoes into her. But, yeah, my reinforcements are a long, long way away. I don't... Well, the Poingar uh, might be able to get in. Uh, but these guys, uh, not sure. Where are they? Dead ahead. You know, maybe we can do. S Ooh, okay, we're really far apart. Fucking hell, game. You're starting me 56 kilometers apart? That's a bit harsh. It's going to take forever. Literally forever. Right, I'll be back when we're in contact. Right, welcome back. Uh, wow, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, we're just about close enough that something might happen. And then I immediately flash fire the cruiser. Um. <laughs> okay. I was about to talk about how my plan was to try and take out the cruiser with my own and then get some torpedoes on the battleship but the Ilbing is busy self-destructing itself although surprisingly not dead from that duplier Still working away at him. Free ant. Mm, might as well not bother. Um, yeah. So yeah, the Elbing could still send out torpedoes, so do you need to be a little bit careful? And the battleship here. Ow! He is able to hit me. Please fire the torps. Oh, 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 oh. You shit. There we go. Don't think those torpedoes will hit, but. Ow! Ow again! Okay, that's the same battleship they've. Definitely upgraded the crew because that thing is. That is uh, a little bit nastier than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, torpedoes totally missing. Hmm. I think in that case, Duplier can probably finish off the Elbing. We might be able to sneak some torpedoes in with the. Ponya, but uh, 
I think this is more a case of what I thought originally in retreating. With a trained crew, those battleships are a lot more dangerous. Okay, that's got a sinker. Surely. Oh, maybe not. That will, though. Okay. Cruiser, out of the way. Now, with the battleship... Well, distracted, can we sneak in... With the destroyer here. I mean, Duplier also has torpedoes, of course. to save, so at least the torpedoes are pointed the right direction. Okay. Turn, and... Yeah, I see the torpedo. Fire. Fire now. Fire now. Fire now. Thank you. Miss the enemy torp, and you can withdraw. Oh, why are we target locking? Now is not the time for that, gentlemen. Fucking fire on them. Thank you. No, they saw those. Turned away. Nowhere close. Well, it's going to make this a lot harder. Explosive. Hmm. It's not what I wanted to see. There we go. Jeez, could you fire the high, high X at the vulnerable bits of the ship? Instead of when I tell you to fire high... Ooh. When I tell you to fire high explosive, you fire at the... There you go, flooding, finally. Flooding is what we are after. Flooding slows them down, makes them vulnerable to us maybe hitting them with a torque. Gonna hit and return though. You know what? Normal on the torps. Destroyed their main tower, but ow in return.
Very out. Oh, bum. Uh, let's just have three on. <laughs> Still going. Oh, shit. The egg takes more hit. I mean, both. Ow. No, that killed us. Shit. Well, I don't want um, Freon trying to engage, so I'm just going to end the battle here. That is unfortunate. I mean, we did sink their light cruiser, but yeah, that. They've done something, because uh, that's a lot more capable than I remember their battleships being. Oh dear. All right, the naval invasion of Sumatra is a lot lower than I hoped, but there's only one fleet in the zone, so I've sent the others to reinforce. We should be able to take it. Also, China, um, which does exist, technically, <laughs> thanks to the fact that they have um, Pengu, which is their only... Oh, no, it's not their only port. They've got the Weiwei Peninsula as well. But actual mainland China has been divided up between the European powers, which is um, interesting. And I think we should now be able to invade, yes, Sardinia. And that should be okay. We've got 143,000 tons right here. The Reserve fleet is almost back in La Rochelle um, for repairs. How are the land attacks doing? Well, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Right, what are all these fights? We have light cruisers. Ooh, another one of those Aegis? Yeah, I don't want to do that one. Oh, do I? Light like to be able to get a crack at them but uh, after seeing a ship go down pretty easily against them I'm not as keen might be able to get rid of these this graph spay class anyway all of that is going to be for the next episode thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon for some more ultimate apple dreadnoughts Bye for now.